What's up you guys? I am Keila Scott. Welcome back to my channel where I help uplift, encourage, and inspire others on how to be made in his image and on how to be the best versions of yourselves. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. And for those of you who are already subscribed, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to what a camera captures in Mexico shocked the whole world. So we're going to be checking that out and seeing what popped up and what is caught on camera in Mexico. This is going to be on Missing Files channel. And without further ado, we are going to go ahead and jump right in. And I want to know what you guys think. I don't know what we're going to be watching here. So just bear with me. Okay. Mexico is truly an amazing place full of beauty, wonder, and maybe a bit of danger. Look what at is the that? Size of the thing. Why is it you so thin? Catch a picture of lightning bolts over a pyramid, or maybe find a rare exotic fish. There's even a chance you'll stumble upon a cursed omen or a secret <gasps> cave. Oh, Whatever surprises what you that? might find, be sure to look out for these 15 shocking things recently discovered in Mexico. I'm already disgusted. Have you guys been to Mexico? I've never been there. <laughs> A shocking being strikes the pyramids. During a family trip to the Mayan city of Chichen Itza, Los Angeles resident Hector Salizer got more than he bargained for when all he wanted was to snap a couple of cool pictures. What his camera captured in Mexico shocked the whole world. It all took place during a sudden lightning storm above the El Castillo pyramid. Hector's group was casually exploring and taking touristy photos until they decided to get some shots of the lightning. What Hector managed to get on film instead was a solid beam of light that appears to be erupting towards the heavens. Could this be Dang. the work of something out of this world? Or maybe Have you guys heard that um they said the Grand Canyon is actually like we're actually Africa. Now I know that sounds weird. I thought the same thing. I was like, okay, that's ridiculous. Stop. But when I actually looked at the map that they're called i forget the name of the map but it's like a map that is not the typical u.s world map um it showed that there are two well there's several entryways in order to get through the gang the grand canyon that they do not allow access to that if you travel far enough and you walked all the way there you would end up in africa or is it egypt you guys correct me down below if you guys have heard of this before, but they were saying that you do not even have to actually, in order to get to Egypt, you don't have to sail through water. You can actually walk there through the Grand Canyon. And that there are a lot of different artifacts in the Grand Canyon that are like pyramid structures and shapes and different things that they said they found in Egypt were actually found in the Grand Canyon interesting right maybe it's just a trick of the light jonathan hill a researcher at nasa's mars imagery doesn't think the image is photoshopped but he also i don't think it's think photoshopped a beam of light actually came out of the pyramid at least not in the way that we can see on the screen his theory is that hector's iphone managed to activate a common lightning glitch because of the intensity of the lightning strike in a sense hector did manage to get a picture but what if what if the pyramids actually were like they were housing some type of portal or something. Lightning like he wanted, but his camera sensors couldn't properly process it. Jonathan Hill thinks that either an entire column of pixels offset their values or an internal reflection from the camera lens might have been recorded by mistake. Other experts agree so. that the extra brightness from the lightning would likely mess the shot up on a standard iPhone. No one in Hector's group saw the beam of light, strengthening Hill's argument. So maybe it's just a technological trick of the light. Or maybe what we're looking at is something that needs a bit more investigating. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Chichen Itza chirps. We're sticking around Chichen Itza for this next interesting phenomena that should shock you. In the Kukukan Temple, a pre-Columbian archaeological site, experts have been stumped over the acoustics for decades. The stone temple appears to have the ability to imitate the sounds of local birds. The sounds are often compared to the call of the local Quetzal birds. It only happens when you clap in just the right spot for the echoes to distort it. It seems that the steps of the temple have what is commonly referred to as a Bragg diffraction grafting, or in simpler terms, 
a sound distortion using waves of lights. Crazy, right? The sound yeah. bounces around the light from the crystals of the stones using the arranged atoms for diffraction to spread out. No one is actually sure if these sounds were initially part of the temple design. Maybe they're just a really cool effect that was discovered afterwards. If you're beating a drum instead of clapping, for example, the sound will be very different from a bird call. Footsteps throughout the temple also sound very similar to raindrops, which some researchers think may have connections to the rain gods worshipped at the time. That's crazy. Hmm. The Wailing Witch, La Llorona. That's scary. A viral video on TikTok has recently set some alarm bells off to ah. be overly superstitious. In this short clip, we're taking to a large tree somewhere in Mexico where we hear a loud wailing sound. Something deep and unsettling that doesn't seem quite human. What is that? But more That's so creepy. We also see a strange shadowy shape, likely a woman, hiding in the branches at the top of the tree. The video has a simple description, stating a witch was seen in Mexico. But most comments have come to one unanimous conclusion. This is the work of La Llorona. She's called the Wailing Woman in English and has been a well-known myth among fans of the horror community for a long while. Mm -mm. The true legend, however, goes even further than any Hollywood film would dare touch. La Llorona is said to be one of ten dark omens that foretold the conquest of Mexico. But she also has some deeper roots that trace all the way back to the Aztec goddesses. Siwakoati, the snake woman, is said to appear in white during the night, weeping and wailing. Chauchu Tikle, try saying that ten times fast, is a goddess of water and rain, something else La Llorona is known for. Both goddesses are recognized as divine creatures to be feared, omens of war and darkness, cursing those unlucky enough to cross their paths. Many mythical researchers assume these Aztec goddesses are the origins for the Mexican spirit of the same nature. But could this video really be that same creature, La Llorona, in the spiritual flesh? Hopefully none of us have become cursed for watching it. God forbid, I don't, Mexican I renounce that in Mary Jesus' Skater. name. Mm -mm. Weddings are most commonly built on tradition, some of which can get pretty out there. You may think your family has some crazy wedding exceptions, but unless you've been to San Pedro Wabelula, you definitely haven't experienced one like this. In an effort to bring prosperity to the community, Victor Hugo Sosa, the local mayor, officiated a wedding for an alligator bride. Are you kidding Talk me? Talk about bridezilla. The tradition predates Hispanic culture, where the alligator, wearing a fully outfitted white wedding gown, is believed to be a deity representing Mother Earth. The wedding acts as a prayer for nature's bounty, celebrating the many gifts they believe to be bestowed upon them. During the ceremony, the alligator, He's who goes by the name of Little Princess, had mm. its mouth bound shut to avoid any nasty bites or unexpected situations. Locals would then carry the bride and dance with her during the ceremony, as one would with an actual bride. The local people appreciate the wedding as something beautiful, but also a nice time to come together and be thankful for what they have. If you ask us, it's still a bit weird, though. Yeah. Ooh. Holy hairball hiding in a hole. <gasps> Viewers, beware. Some discretion is, is advised for this next clip if you're afraid of creepy crawlies, especially tiny ones. Ooh. This video, taken in a cave near the town of Ooh. Alamos in Mexico, shows two hikers approaching oh. what looks to be a large nest. The hikers were curious when they saw the strange fuzzy thing moving in the corner, thinking it to be some kind of sleeping animal. And what's the best course of action when dealing with wild sleeping animals? Apparently, poking oh. it with a stick. You're probably as shocked by the sight as we are, but at least you have the comfort of sitting behind a screen. Uh, After some investigation, itch. the millions of tiny creatures were classified as falsity otherwise known as cellar spiders or daddy long legs and they were not very happy to be disturbed fortunately they pose no threat oh. to humans and have no poisonous venom to be worried about but still Ew. they're shockingly spooky to look at the viral video was viewed more than 1.6 million times with commenters claiming i had seven heart attacks after seeing this video <laughs> maybe think twice next time you go out and decide to poke something with a stick so <laughs> that's why you need to mind your business uh -uh. Snake on a plane. Mm -mm. No, we're not referring to a movie, but an actual real life event that happened and caused a swift, expedited landing in Mexico City. Picture this you're sitting comfortably or uncomfortably in your seat on a long flight. No. When you look up and spot a green oh, no, 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 stowaway no, no. crawling out of an overhead bin. Oh. That's right, aboard an Aero Mexico plane ride, a non venomous snake snuck out of its container and tried roaming around for a bit. 
According to the Associated Press, the snake was over three feet long and trapped. Oh no! 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 Mm -mm. Do y'all know how I'll be acting a fool on that plane? I don't even care. As if the bat, the last clip wasn't that awful. To see something like this where you can't run. At least with the last clip, you can run away from that. Now, you you brought that to yourself. You was meddling. But you're trying to get to a destination and you're on the plane and you're just minding your business, just trying to, you know, be cool because you're already kind of feeling some type of way that you're that high up in the air off the ground. And then and you see something like that coming up on you and you ain't got nowhere to run. By some amazingly brave flight attendants. Some passengers unbuckled their seats and stood up to get a better view of what was going on. But thankfully, mass panic didn't break out. Fortunately, the flight was already near its destination, and the abrupt landing in Mexico was not too much of a delay. The flight was given priority landing so the snake could be shuttled off the plane by animal services. <gasps> it's still unknown how the snake escaped and managed to wander about for as long as it could. Officials say they're investigating the situation and will do their best to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. We sure hope so. What airline was that so I could avoid it? Comment it down below if you know. Fish invading the coast. Although the ocean is full of life and mysteries, it's not every day that you stumble on a new scientific breakthrough. That makes what these lucky ecotourists found especially shocking. While kayaking in the shallow waters off the Baja Ooh, coast of like Mexico, they came across a very real and elusive deep water ore fish. The elusive oarfish is a type of aquatic creature with Ew. a pug-like face and eel-type body. They can dive that's over 3,000 like. feet below the water surface and grow up to 50 feet long. That's roughly the size of a five-story building. Ancient mariners a have five -story often described building. them as sea serpents while sailing into the deep. Even today, these fish are rarely discovered by humans alive. Most of what modern scientists know about oarfish comes from finding their bodies washed up on a beach. Thankfully, that wasn't the case for these guys. The tourists were surprised to see the two fish swimming so close to the it shore, two but were still able to get this stunning footage. The fish were later taken in by the oh shed aquarium that the family was touring with. The fish were then revealed to be around 15 feet long each. Next time you go out into the ocean, we highly suggest bringing a camera. You might just get a chance to find a rare, undocumented fish. 15 feet? How to train your night jar. They say the whole point of fantasy is that it isn't real. But if that's the case, how do you explain this shocking creature? What is that? If you've ever seen that hit animated movie, How to Train Your Dragon, I've seen it. you might think this little guy looks familiar. But instead of a night fury, mm. this small nocturnal bird is called a great eared night jar. Many people often mistake the night jar for a weird looking squirrel or even a lizard, hence the dragon references. But no, it's a bird native to the tropical and subtropical forests of Asia which is why finding one in the wilds of Mexico was quite the surprise. The nightjar is a very vulnerable species, often relying on camouflage to hide from enemies and predators. They typically nest on the ground, hidden in well-placed leaves and shrubs. It looks evil. This leads to the theory of why this type of bird looks so lizard and dragon-like. Its intimidation is one of its best tools. It also might be another connecting layer between birds and reptiles. So next time you decide to watch How to Train Your Dragon, Maybe you'll think of this little guy. You can't even really see it, though. History beneath the hotel. I sure wouldn't it be picking like it up. there's no shortage of ancient mysteries behind the culture of modern Mexican society. Archaeologists have recently revealed their discovery of a vast Aztec temple hidden beneath the 1950s hotel in the heart of Mexico City. The temple is built to look a lot like a coiled snake in order to honor Yectal. A wind god worshipped by the Aztecs as the creator who breathed life into mankind. The temple is recorded at 500 years old and been excavated and researched for at least seven years before any information was made public. The temple was likely never used again after the Spaniards arrived and changed the entire landscape. Most of the Aztec ruins still lie beneath Mexico City, though hardly any of it is still intact. Mm. You can check it out for yourself, but probably not right away. There are plans in motion to build a museum and incorporate this newly rediscovered temple for tourists. The hotel is still in business, though, and there are no shortages of Aztec ruins to investigate. So feel free to stop by as soon as you can. If you find anything That's shocking so cool. or undiscovered, be sure to drop us a line and maybe we'll even feature your discovery in another shocking video. Imagine what else we live on top of. The unsettling creature of the deep. 
Now this creature might be the creepiest one yet. Let's get it out of the way and address it, and mm. we're not sure entirely what this creature is. It looks similar to a dolphin with razor-sharp teeth, kind of like a shark, but it's missing most of the defining traits that we're used to identifying either of those creatures of the sea. As you can tell, this night terror of the deep doesn't appear to have any eyes or fins, but a very you long know what? tail. Reports say that people... What's scary to me is that there's so much of the ocean that we know nothing about. It's just like space where we only know so much about it. We only know, we only been to a little bit of it and there's so much more out there that we haven't even really uncovered or discovered yet. Just like the ocean. We can only go so far down into the ocean before we're forced to go back up just because it is so deep. Do you guys know the things that could be down there? The worlds that could possibly exist? What life could be in the ocean that we know nothing about? That's scary. The unknown is always scary. People who found it were originally under the impression that they found a beach dolphin. They changed their minds the moment they got close enough to really get a good look at it. It was Whoa. discovered by locals on the Pacific coastline in Mexico. There are rumors that it comes from deep in the depths of the Pacific Ocean, which actually does hold up. The deeper and darker you dive towards the bottom of the ocean, the more likely you are to find blind and eyeless fish See? that have no need for sight in an environment without light. Other These stuff fish down also there. tend to have razor sharp teeth, presumably because their bodies and the bodies of their prey are much more solid to deal with the intense pressure near the center of the earth. There's some speculation that the image is fake, which is comforting in its own way. I we hope can definitely so. claim that it's something very, very shocking to see. Sorry, y'all. I keep yawning. I'm so sleepy. Mammoth bones. We've said it before, but Mexico sure does seem to have a lot of buried beneath it. Excavators recently found these huge mammoth bones while digging to install a drain pipe in a village just outside of Mexico City. Mm. The bones belong to a Colombian <sighs> mammoth, and they even include the tusks. These types of mammoths were common to North and Central America several me. thousands of years ago before going extinct. This particular mammoth is thought to be in the ballpark of around 14,000 years old. That's a lot of missed birthday parties. Archaeologists that investigated the bones also think the mammoth's death may have been natural. The bones were scattered and not in the original shape they should have been in, suggesting that something or someone may have cut the animal up after its death. Mm -mm. Humans did a lot of mammoth hunting back in our primitive days, so this does sound to be a likely story. Other mammoth bones were often found nearby. Presumably because of a saltwater lake that no longer exists. The salt water would trick mammoths into drinking, which is strangely enough a great way to preserve their remains. Mm. Secret tunnel under the border. In this case of what was discovered underground in Mexico, a group of drug smugglers apparently bought a plot of land specifically to hide a 400 yard tunnel that leads directly to wow. a restaurant in Mexico. But you know what? That's not even shocking just because there's so many tunnels that are underground. There's a lot of things that are underground. You have underground cities. We already know there's bunkers and stuff like that. You have a lot of underground bunkers that look better than a lot of these homes that are on land that are just for doomsday where, you know celebrities or not really celebrities but the elitist the richest people in the world can just run to while we are out here just suffering to fend for ourselves that they can just go underground and live so to know that there's like tunnels and stuff like that that may lead to the inside of a restaurant isn't very shocking to me at all forty thousand dollars in california and built the house over the tunnel to keep it hidden the entrance to the tunnel begins at the restaurant in mexicali and exits inside the built home in calexico those are both real cities, by the way. Feel free to look them up. The tunnel is said to be around 400 yards, the same as four football fields in length. Dang. It's one of 75 U.S. to Mexico tunnels found in the last decade. The ground and soil there is much harder and more difficult to dig through. Plus, it's within a residential area. Not exactly prime real estate for an easy job, but then again, no one Dang. claimed drug smuggling was easy work. The owners and drug smugglers were all arrested and offices are still keeping an eye out for anyone who might try to access the tunnel. For now, we'll just stick to honest work above ground. <laughs> right. Mystery behind the erupting volcano. 
Popocatapetl is the name of a highly active volcano in Dang. Mexico that erupted in January 2020. Ooh. Many eyes were on it as the eruption kicked off, but some people were paying attention to something else happening on camera at the time. On one live stream from that? government operated webcams, just after an exploding fireball launched smoke and ash into the air, a strange light was seen soaring across the volcano. Mm. It was small and unclear and pretty quick in a blink and miss it kind of way. But all of this adds to great conspiracy chatter on the internet. The light is technically a UAP. Many are speculating that it could be an alien spaceship, while others presume that it might be a shooting star or a meteorite. That's what I there thought. It was like a shooting of star. occurrences over the years, some of which have made it to the news shows and other mainstream sources. But the footage often used is blurry, vague, and very difficult to identify, making it a hard case to solve. But that's probably what the aliens want us to think. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Pyramids you won't find anywhere else. The thing about pyramids is that they're Dang. usually made up of triangles, right? Well, yeah. these ones are a bit different. <gasps> Ooh. The round pyramids of Guadalajara are Those named are beautiful. Los Guanchimontones and have been around for approximately 2,000 years. Not much was known about them until they were rediscovered in 1969 and later were excavation entered in 1996. Conspiracy theories were abundant in those days that they were tourist traps built to make money and some even saying aliens constructed them. Eventually, researchers were able to put those theories to rest and prove not only how old they are, but that they were built by the culture that thrived in that valley between 300 to 900 AD. That being said, not much is known about them other than their name directly translates to a place for the divine. Maybe those conspiracies weren't as far off as we thought. Aside from one other small pyramid in Mexico City, these are the only round pyramids you can find anywhere in the world. The tallest one stands at more than 60 feet and 52 steps Dang. in relation to the amount of weeks in a year. Further investigations have found that most of these pyramids were built with a central altar that included a post hole to be used during rituals. Pole ceremonies were apparently important to the culture and its community. Leaders would often climb the pole as a devotional act towards a deity. The pyramids have undergone reconstruction with an accompanying interpretive center intended to teach people about lost Mexican culture. Looks like an eye, doesn't it? Defenders of the Deep. If you're a huge fan of art and museums, you better grab your diving Ooh, gear for this art one. Museums. Museo Subacuatico de Arte, or Musa, is possibly the largest and most amazingly ambitious underwater art attraction in the entire world. It can That's... be found near Cancun. The galleries Yay. are split into two sections. The first is for diving and snorkeling, while the second is exclusively meant for just snorkeling. That's right, in order to see these sculptures, you have to dive underwater for quite a while. Well, Over 90 fishermen and women help to construct it in a way that defends the sea from large amount of visitors. The sculptures, for instance, are made from long-lasting pH-neutral cement that's capable of promoting natural coral growth. The statues are positioned downstream from natural reefs to help the coral settle. The museum is regularly monitored because of the way it forms a complex reef structure for marine life to colonize. The statue figures are inspired by 90 real-life models from a close fishing village of Puerto Morelos, in a sense creating a community of people defending their oceans. The man-made reef is home to at least 2,000 juvenile corals and hopefully will continue to grow. That's a wrap on all of these shocking discoveries that Mexico has to offer. We're clearly only wow. scratching the tip of the iceberg, especially seeing how much is still being buried underneath the mysterious country. If digging is your passion, maybe you'll be next to uncover a hidden temple or a set of mammoth bones. Mm -mm. No. Uh, I don't think I'll be going to Mexico, y'all. I haven't been there, but I don't think I'll be going... <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be going after what I've been seeing here and hearing all these different stuff that's been going on there. I'm just like, uh, they tripping. But you guys, make sure that you guys do check out this channel right here. Let's see what it's called. I told you guys earlier, but I kind of forgot. Missing files. Make sure you guys go like this channel if you guys like the information he has a lot of good channels i mean a lot of good videos on here make sure that you guys like my video and subscribe so you can be notified when i do post another video also you guys please 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 make sure to go check out my website www.keylovesgod.com 
Make sure you find some stuff on there that you might like. It's faith-based apparel. There's something on there for everybody, whether you just want to wear something basic or whether you want to wear something that is bold and makes a statement. All of the material is premium quality, and um, I would just really appreciate it so much. So if you guys get a chance, please make sure you go do that. I love you guys so much. Make sure you comment in the comment section what you would like to see me react to next, and I will see you guys in another video. Mwah.